Hi everybody, I'm Janelle Schwanier and I'm the FLL Project Manager. I've been with FIRST for about five years and I am here to tell you a little bit about this year's Nature's Fury project. The project is the part of the challenge where you really get to be in the driver's seat as a team member. You get to choose a real world problem that interests your team, learn about it in the way that makes the most sense to you, and then come up with a solution that can really help other people. Are you ready? We always start out the project document with the Think About It section. This is where you can start to think about the theme for this year's challenge, start to get your head around what you're going to need to do. We start out this year with the story of Tilly Smith. In 2004, she was a student in the United Kingdom, and in her geography class, she watched a video about tsunamis. Then her family went to Thailand over the winter holidays. One day when her family went to the beach, Tilly noticed that the ocean was frothing in a strange way. She realized she had seen something like this before on that video about tsunamis. Luckily, Tilly knew what the signs meant. She warned her parents and the hotel staff helped get everyone off the beach. It turned out that was the Asian tsunami of 2004. It did a lot of damage in a lot of places. But luckily, nobody died on the beach near Tilly's hotel that day. She saved a lot of lives just by knowing the signs of a natural disaster and knowing what to do next. One thing that might help you understand the project document is to remember that the tsunami was just a force of nature. It's the harm to people and property that actually makes something a natural disaster instead of just a natural event. Now, the first task you're going to do for the project this season is to choose a community. So you could choose a community that's near you or somewhere that you live, or you could choose something far away. You just want to choose a specific geographic area because that will help you focus your research. You'll find a list of natural events in the project document. You'll need to choose a community where one of these natural events could happen. You'll see things like floods, earthquakes, avalanches. This is to help you start your research right away so you don't need to worry about whether you've chosen an appropriate event that could cause a natural disaster. Make sure you choose something off of this list. There are some natural events that just didn't seem to fit with the format of the other events that we have on the list. For example, a plague of locusts would be natural, but it's not on the list for nature's fury. The same is true for drought and a fishnado. After you've chosen your community, you'll need to identify a specific problem that you would like to solve. The way we recommend choosing your problem is to focus on the force of nature that you are interested in learning about. Look at how it could harm people or property in your community. How do people prepare? How are people warned? How do people rebuild after that force of nature comes through? And then take a look at all your research and pick out a specific problem that you'd like to learn more about and to solve. There are tons of different opportunities throughout the disaster preparedness cycle. You can think about how do people prepare better, how can you stay safer, or how can you rebuild better after a disaster happens. This is probably a good time to talk with a professional who's currently working in this field. You can see here some of the professionals we talked to when we were preparing for this year's challenge. Professionals can help you understand what's really going on out there in the world. What are the problems that need new and better solutions? And they can help you just learn more information. We definitely recommend finding someone who you can talk with about the topic. Now that you know more about your problem, it's time for you to be the inventor. Think about how you could improve something that already exists, use something that exists in a new way, or invent something totally new. Now think about who could benefit from your solution and go share with them. Maybe it's the professional who helped you learn about the topic. Maybe it's people in the community that you chose. You think about who would benefit the most and go tell them about how your solution could help. Most teams will attend a tournament at the end of the season, so you'll need to prepare a presentation to tell the project judges about what you learned. Make sure you include your problem, your solution, and how you shared your idea before you got to the tournament. If you don't include all that information, 
then the judges won't know about all the great things that you accomplished, and you definitely want them to hear about that. Well, those are the basics of this year's project document. Once you've read through the complete challenge, you can always find the project updates and common questions on the project FAQ. If you don't see your question there, you can also email questions to flljects at usfirst.org, and I'll be happy to answer your questions as best I can. That's all I've got for now, but I can't wait to see what you come up with. Have an awesome season, everybody.